I had no idea I could eat free breakfast at this specialty restaurant. I mean, why would I? Normally, you always have to pay for specialty restaurants. Cruising on a budget is important to me. And part of cruising on a budget is taking advantage of all the free food offered on the ship. And trust me, there is plenty of free food. I'm going to tell you all the free places to get food on Oasis class ships, including where you can find breakfast for free at a specialty restaurant. And towards the end, I'll even tell you where my favorite place to get dessert is, which can be found on most Oasis class ships. There are currently six Oasis class ships, including the Utopia of the Seas launching in July of 2024 and the seventh unnamed one launching in 2028, assuming financing is secured later this year. The first ship in Oasis class is Oasis of the Seas, which had its maiden voyage in December of 2009. The free places to eat on Oasis of the Seas is going to be Boardwalk Doghouse, Cafe Promeron, El Local Fresh, The Main Dining Room, Park Cafe, Solarium Bistro, Sorrento's, Vitality Cafe, Windjammer, and Johnny Rockets. We well, say, Brian, but Johnny Rockets is a specialty restaurant. Well, this is the free place that you can eat breakfast for free. It's an American diner and you can eat breakfast free on any Oasis class ship that has Johnny Rockets. Well, all Oasis class ships have Johnny Rockets. So you can go there for breakfast and get away from the hustle and bustle. Now the second Oasis class ship was Allure of the Seas, which launched a year later in December of 2010. Now, most of these restaurants are the same where you can get the free food. There are two slight differences. One being the Boardwalk Donuts, which is on the boardwalk across from the doghouse and next to the carousel. Now, the other one that's a little bit different is Wipeout Cafe featuring El Loco Fresh. So really, this is kind of the same thing, but it's got a different name, so I figured I'd say it's a little bit different. Harmony of the Seas is the third one in the Royal Caribbean Oasis class, launched on May 29th, 2016. Now, this one only has one different one, which is Mini Bites, and that is in the same location of where the El Loco Fresh is. However, that's going to be quick serve food as well, and Harmony of the Seas is the only one that has mini bites on Oasis class of the ship, which is located on deck 15 near the pool deck in the same location where El Local Fresh can be found. Moving on to the fourth ship in the Oasis class is going to be Symphony of the Seas, launching April 7th of 2018. While this doesn't have any different restaurants than the other one for the free food standpoint, this does have my favorite dessert on this ship, which I'm going to tell you about soon. But Wonder of the Seas is the fifth ship in the Oasis class. This one also doesn't have any different complimentary or free restaurants compared to the other ones that we've covered so far. However, if you want my take on where to get the breakfast, lunch, or dinner, let me tell you real quick. Breakfast, Johnny Rockets, especially restaurant, which we sold about, is a great place. And if you didn't know about that, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you can continue to stay up to date with some more tips. In addition to that, Solarium Bistro is a great place for breakfast if you want a more slow, relaxed atmosphere and get away from the hustle and bustle of the Windjammer, which is great, but it's just really busy. The other place that I really enjoy breakfast at is in the main dining room. I get to sit down and get food served to me. So, of course, I'm going to like that. That's like a nice, nice breakfast. And it's a great place for family to go to because there's no cleanup. Now for lunch, I have a, two or three favorite places. One of them is going to be El Loco Fresh, which we visit often if it's a sea day and we're at the pool deck. It's on deck 15 right near the pool. Or if you're in Harmony of the Seas, it'd be Mini Bites. But El Loco Fresh is a grab and go option. You can simply go there, it's a short walk, or you can send one person from your party, go get food, bring it back, and eat in the chair next to the pool, and simply jump back in. The next place I really like is going to be Park Cafe. One of the reasons I like Park Cafe is a little bit of a slower pace, but also they have really good salads. Also, paninis, and of course, the famous roast beef sandwich. Now with Park Cafe, just be careful about the hours. They have a little bit of different hours. For instance, for dinner, they're closed by like 5 p.m. So depending on what time of day you go there, they'll be open. And for dinner, 
It's the main dining room. Every single night, main dining room is the best place to eat for the free food, in my opinion. All the other places are really just snacks. I mean, Sorrento's, yeah, I eat there. Windjammer, yeah, I eat there too with the kids before going to the main dining room with my wife for date night. And moving on to the sixth ship in the Oasis class is Utopia of the Seas with its maiden voyage July 22nd of 2024. There are two different free restaurants on Utopia of the Seas. The Spare Tire, which is gonna be a food truck concept serving pulled pork sandwiches right next to the pool deck. I can't wait to try this on our upcoming Utopia of the Seas cruise. And also Sprinkles. Is that the secret place I'm talking about for the best free dessert? No, although Sprinkles is on every Oasis class ship. Funny thing is, they actually don't have Sprinkles. I know, weird. So if you need Sprinkles, bring them on. Now you've been wondering where the best place to get dessert is? Well, I'll tell you where my favorite place is right now. It's at Playmakers. It's called the Campfire Cookie. It is unbelievable. Yes, Playmakers, you do have to pay for, but if you use a travel agent, which I always recommend, and they give you some onboard credit, it's kind of free. Otherwise, it's $6. I recommend going to Playmakers on day one because as soon as you spend $6, you're gonna go back and get it again. Now, every Oasis class ships, with the exception of Allure of the Seas, which has not been amplified as of this recording, has a Playmakers. So make sure you go to Playmakers and order the campfire cookie. Now this isn't financial advice, but it'll probably be the best $6 you spend on this entire cruise. Now make sure you watch this video here so you know all the best places to get free drinks. I appreciate you watching, and of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you learned anything, so you can stay up to date with more tips. This is Brian, Tips for Cruisers.